to thank everyone for tuning in to the 25th Hour Radio Show here on Monster Radio AM 1150 and 98.5 FM WGGH. I am your host, Rob Fairless, and on the phone with me today is Jeff Wade. Jeff is the owner of a brand new store in St. Charles, Missouri called Crypto World. It's the very first of its kind. It's the first brick-and-mortar store in the world dedicated solely to cryptocurrency. Jeff, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to join me on the show. Thanks, Rob, for having me on your show. I'm very excited. Thank you. No problem, man. Jeff, I guess the obvious place uh, to start here would be to get your take on what exactly cryptocurrency is. How would you describe it to someone? Well, just to someone that's very new to it, uh, a lot of people are confused thinking that cryptocurrency is all about just a digital currency to transfer uh, dollars, basically, is what people think. But cryptocurrency is is mainly the technology behind it, which I believe it's going to take over and dominate uh, not uh, not just the currency side, but but every industries. Right. So it's it's something that's very exciting. Crypto has been, you know, a, a technology that's growing leaps and bounds. And if you think about the Internet from 1990 to 2000, the Internet in 10 years grew at a rate of roughly about 63 percent compound year over year. And before that, the fastest adoption of technology was mobile phones. If you go back the last 10 years, cryptocurrency has grown at 113 percent growth year over year almost doubling the internet so we can't do anything without the internet we do we work with it with zoom we transact we communicate so now just imagine with cryptocurrency how much of an effect it's going to make and disrupt the things that we do at that that rate that it's going at so yeah i mean it's 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 something that's that's here to stay and you know with 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 crypto world we're looking to be the wave and not ride the wave. We're looking to be the wave to kind of, you know, educate the community and let people know what's going on and, and then have them kind of make their own decision. Now, this is kind of a two part question here. How did you find your way into the world of cryptocurrency and, and how did that passion for crypto motivate you to open your own store? Well, I've known about crypto for a while, like, like many others. I was confused about it. I didn't understand it. Um, you know, there there was a time because I, I played poker uh, on the side and when poker was shut down many years ago, the only way to play online was was putting in Bitcoin, which I did. I put a couple hundred dollars, uh, prob- well, at the time, probably four hundred dollars that I that I bought in Bitcoin and I transferred it into an online site that allowed me to play online poker. And when I did that, you know, it was one of these things that, that was OK, it was cool. I ended up playing. I lose probably three fourths of, of, of what I put in and I shut my computer off. And then fast forward four or five days later when Bitcoin was worth $20,000 a coin, right? It, it was like, I thought back, I said, wait a minute, I think I have one Bitcoin that I still have in my old laptop. And then so I, sure enough, I looked at my laptop and I, you know, I had Bitcoin in, in my laptop and my wife got a little excited. She's like, oh, my gosh, $20,000, right? But right. Uh, but at the time, you had to put in this, I think, 18-digit code that that uh, I created. And then, you know, to this day, I still do not remember what that passcode was. So I have the most expensive laptop sitting in my basement that I'll frame one day when Bitcoin hits a million dollars a coin. Oh, wow, man. So that, that's my first exposure. And then, but, you know, over the course of the years, just talked to a lot of people, did my own research. And, uh, you know, just try to understand the why. And if you understand the why, you'll truly then understand why Bitcoin keeps, I think today it surpassed, you know, 62 and it's going to hit the all time high probably by next week. And by the end of the year, I'm expecting it to go to over a hundred thousand dollars a coin. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do a lot of research. I talk to a lot of people. Uh, so I, I do believe that, you know, in the next couple of months, it's going to be pretty crazy and uh and i see in three or four years you'll see a million dollar coin or bitcoin million dollars so you know I, that's what I, I tell people just just take a few minutes to to understand the why and i think you'll you'll uh, understand you know why everybody is involved in crypto or so passionate about it so that's why i ended up uh opening the stores because you know before i had 
meetups that I was that was I was attending or I was hosting, and then people were asking questions about Bitcoin and crypto, and it was the same questions over and over again. And I thought, is there a place that you know that is a store that that only not only sells merchandise but also educates people at the same time? And after after doing research, I couldn't really find anything, so I decided, you know what. I'm going to take the leap of faith. It's probably not the smartest thing people do, right? Starting a business without really, uh, you know, a true business plan that they can uh, take from and, and say, you know, the revenues are going to come from here and this is how it's going to be. This is the overhead. So I basically just said, there's nothing like this. I want to do it. I'm going to be the first one to do it. I want to do it here by my hometown in St. Charles, Missouri, about 15 minutes uh, from St. Louis. And we've only been open under two months and it's it's just been a roller coaster and it's you know amazing what we're doing the people we're meeting the opportunities that are opening up you know we're, we're building this uh immersion coolant system and if you're not familiar with it it's a it's basically a picture of a fish tank that has 15 i'm sorry it has um, 10 high powered miners in it and it's immersed in liquid which keeps it cool so the store is sustainable through the mining equipment and the mining system that, that we're building um, because it's mining for Bitcoin and, you know, that helps whatever's mine helps generate the revenue to be able to, you know, help fulfill our mission, which is to just help educate the community. That's awesome, man. Now, what kind of services other than that and, and merchandise do you offer at Crypto World? Yeah, so basically just picture a, a, a retail store that has merchandise we have cold wallets we have bitcoin etm we get a lot of cash to go into our bitcoin etm if people wanting to buy bitcoin we have you know bitcoin and crypto wall art we have some bitcoin and crypto 3d printed items um so uh, the classes we're doing we're, we're developing an online class um we're also offering different types of services like an nft service which is a very very hot thing right now we're partnering with some financial services group over the counter so you know picture us now is kind of the futuristic uh you know edward jones as we build out uh more of these locations more stores all over the u.s so my plan is to you know open up about 10 stores in the next uh, eight to 12 months and then also franchise it so for me it's it's all about expanding as quickly as possible because this is something that I, I want to get out not only here in the U S but all over the world. Now, if you had to take a guess, what percentage of the world's population have their hands in crypto? Well, so I actually saw the stat that about 120 million people are currently involved in crypto 2021. And that's, uh, I think we have a population of about 8 billion people. And the growth rate of crypto is growing at a hundred and hundred six hundred sixty percent year over year. So, if we take the growth rate um, with one hundred and twenty million people currently that are involved in crypto, you're looking about by twenty twenty four, we'll have a little over a billion people that are going to be involved in crypto at some capacity, whether they're investing, um, you know, or or in the technology side of things. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still early on for people that think that it's too late. It's, you're not too late. You're, you're still, still very early on, uh, but it's growing leaps and bounds. And, you know, I, I, I just suggest and let people know to get involved in some, some capacity. You know, my chief marketing officer, Eric Douglas, he introduced me to crypto just a few months back. And, and at the time I had no, I had no idea what was, what it was or, or how fast it's being adopted around the world. And you mentioned this a little bit earlier, but you said you see crypto as the future of, of currency. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at what's going on with El Salvador, uh, El Salvador, third world country that just uh, tr uh, tr is using now Bitcoin as their legal tender. And if you, if you think about it uh, with, with El Salvador and a lot of these third world countries, I think last year, El Salvador, the their, their people of El Salvador spent roughly about $400 million on remittance fees, uh, which are fees basically, and, and this happens to a lot of uh, third world countries, not just El Salvador, but a lot of people, 
leave their country, they work in the U.S., in Europe, wherever, normally where the economy is a little stronger. They work in that country and they send money back to their families. And they're using usually Western Union, MoneyGram, or, you know, things like that to, to be able to transmit money back. And MoneyGram and Western Union, they were charging roughly about, you know, 10 to 15 percent of, of the money that was, that was being sent out. And that equated just for El Salvador, roughly about $400 million. So just think about, you know, how much money that's being kept in that country that's helping the people helping the country, the economy, so forth. So that's just one utility. And with El Salvador specifically, it took El Salvador 30 years to get 1.3 million people bankable. In 30 days now with crypto, in 30 days, they were able to get over 3 million people bankable. Wow. Because all you need is a cell phone. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's, so it's, it's changing the way we do things, the way, we transact, it's changing people, it's changing so many things. Now, that's just El Salvador, there are countries now, you know, Paraguay, Brazil, the Philippines, even Mexico. So all these countries that are looking at this and I think El Salvador is gonna be a good test for them when they see, you know, because El Salvador now is mining for Bitcoin, they're taking uh, volcanoes and they're converting that power into a mining operation to mine for Bitcoin. Um, so I think there is going to be um, you know, a huge, huge inflow of countries. Um, the U.S., you know, it may take a while. Um, the thing with Bitcoin is it's a lot of people with, with a lot of money and a lot of people with big high powers. Um, they don't like something like that that could disrupt, you know, what, what they have in wealth and in power. So, uh, yeah, so, um, so the answer is yes. I think it's going to uh, in the future. I don't know how long it would take maybe 10, 15, 20 years, but it's someday. It has to. I think Michael Saylor said that if God made the perfect perfect uh, currency, it would be Bitcoin. Awesome. Now, Jeff, I know you have your hands in other businesses as well, and even though I would like to because of time constraints, we can't go into all those uh, details, but I would like to know how you manage your time, bro. Are you one of those guys that wake up at 4 a.m. to start your day? It seems like you would have to be with all you have going on for you. Well, I mean, it's, you know, I work hard and I play hard. And I also surround myself with, with real, really great people that help me out along the way. Um, and I think that's that's key in, in, in life and in business is just, you have to have people that are supportive that you can trust. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm one of the guys that uh, um, when I'm working, I'm working 110%. Uh, but also I understand uh, that you need to take away, you take time away for your family and for the people you care about, because I can make this billion dollar company, which crypto world will be one day. Um, but if, you know, if I look back and just miss out the days with my family, then, you know, that billion dollars isn't going to be worth anything right on in my dying bed. So, yeah. so yeah, I mean, it's, it's to me, like I said, I enjoy what I do and I surround myself with great people. Now, before we start to wrap things up here, I got to get your take on the current market. I know you're not a financial advisor, and this is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Uh, but what's hot right now? Do you see any tokens or coins poised to make major moves forward in the world of crypto other than Bitcoin? Yeah, I mean, Bit Bitcoin is, is kind of that coin that that if it does well, then everything kind of follows. Um, you know, there, there are some coins, and like you said, I just want to make sure people know that I'm not a financial advisor. Um, so please risk, you know, your investment. Entertainment um, purposes. Take your own only. risk. Inter yeah, exactly. Um, but there are coins. I, I, you know, we talked earlier off, off the show is Shiba Inu is kind of interesting um, because I didn't know, but they have one of the strongest network for security. And, you know, there, there is a lot of things with uh, Shiba Inu that are, that are very interesting. It was designed kind of as a meme coin, but I think some of the, um, um, you know, some of the utilities for it seem very interesting. So I'm, I'm bullish on on that as far as in a uh, a coin that's a, a mean consideration coin. Uh, but there are a lot of coins like Ethereum and Cardano. Uh, I think coins that work on the, the smart contracts, uh, they're, they're very interesting because of NFTs and just how NFTs are just blowing up. And if with NFTs, it requires... Uh, gas fees to be able to mint them. So you need Ethereum, you need, you know, Cardano, um, you know, another 
Another coin that I'm very bullish on is Theta. And Theta is more of a coin focused on uh, VR and also uh, streaming. Um, so the, a lot of the, the major streaming companies, you know, it's hard for them to upload files that, that are larger than uh, one gig. They can't, you know, it's hard for them to do 4K. It's hard for them to be able to uh, be decentralized. So, I mean, there's so many different things that's hard for some of these uh, streaming companies. And, and with Theta, they have all the patents on the blockchain. Uh, so bullish on Theta. And, you know, I, I hold uh, also some Atom. I like Atom. But uh, I think XRP, once they get through their their lawsuit, I think I think they'll be good. So, I mean, there's it's it's right now, it's hard to go wrong with really the top top 20 coins right because uh um you know there's so much going on in this space and i think next week the government's supposed to announce or the sec is supposed to announce uh, uh bitcoin ET- etfs that, that, that are going to be passed and so once that gets going i think that's gonna even uh, uh you, you'll see more money into the space but uh but yeah very exciting things and you know if you're if you're looking for more advice and, and more questions definitely reach out um you know our store in st charles missouri we're always there to help we'll let you guys know you know what we recommend the front of the door we do have a big sign that says we're not financial advisors so <laughs> you know we want to make sure people know that uh but yeah get a chance to take some time we have people that are that drive four six plus hours we have somebody drive 26 hours to come visit their store because it's the first one of its kind but uh just stop by, come see me, come visit me, and let's talk crypto. Now, what social media platforms can people find you in Crypto World on? Yes, yeah, so we're on pretty much most of them. I, uh, the, so Facebook, Twitter, uh, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Instagram. And, you know, we have an event uh, every Tuesday, Crypto Over Coffee. Uh, we have some speakers that come in from 9 to 11 is our, our uh, event. And people come to the store. We're also live streaming it. It's going to be the first week we live stream uh, from our YouTube channel. And um, so, you know, if you can't come to the store, join the live stream. And, you know, you can ask questions. Uh, We'll do Q&A within the live stream. And then, then, you know, just, just be part of the community. Be involved in some capacity. Now, your website, it's firstcryptoworld.com. Is that correct? Yes. So... First Crypto World, you can spell it with uh, F-I-R-S-T or or the number one S-T, CryptoWorld.com. Now, Jeff, is there anything you'd like to mention to the listening audience before we bring the show to a close today? Any words of wisdom or any any information I failed to touch on? Yeah, so, you know, I think uh, in life, there are the elements in life, with their wind, water, earth, fire, and Bitcoin. So just, just remember that <laughs> as you move forward because... Uh, it, it's it's something that is going to change a lot of lives and going to impact, you know, th- this world in some capacity. Well, Jeff, if I was a betting man, I'd say you are definitely onto something huge with Crypto World. I wish you all the success in the world, and I guarantee you I'm going to make the drive there soon. Thanks again for taking time out of your day to join me on the show. No problem. Thanks for having me on. 